Welcome to 198. Welcome to Darlington. Traveling back to 1985. For the third race of season four of the NASCAR International Cup Series, we have Salter in front, DeMarza in second, Morrissey Jr. in third, Johnson in fourth, Martin in fifth, Hopkins in sixth. We are underway around this 25 lap, extremely treacherous egg shaped oval. And already it's Luis Gustavo de Marza who takes the lead. Is he looking to get two wins in a row? Well, not two wins in a row, but if he the first driver was two wins to get those bonus 20 points going into two the playoff. And it is Luis Gustavo de Marza who takes lap one. So far, so great for the number eight. Get a Falcon car here, and you can see that all of the drivers are trying to form a single file line. They do not want to get into a wreck early, but the four and the 99 almost touched because of it. Some cars are much more aggressive coming out of turns one and two than others. LGD has a very good lead, but here comes Morrison Jr. Morrison Jr. going to look for a move on the inside here. This track really loves to mess with tire wear. Drivers are going to come in at around lap 15, but you will see that the drivers will significantly lose speed by the time they come into lap, even a lap 5 or so. Here is Levante Martin, the other winner of the races so far, currently sandwiched in between two Toyota cars of Salter and Johnson. So far, so good. Here is your current champion, Felix Pillau Kromberg, looking to work his way, getting very aggressive with Pasquale. They are almost touching coming into turn one. But there is Dustin Morrison Jr. Let's see how he did it. We hear the A actually gets into the wall, and that lets Dustin Morrison Jr. pass, or do they make contact? Actually, it looks like neither of them made contact. Morrison Jr. was just faster at battling for first. The rest of the pack is still significantly far behind. Martin has almost caught his way up, but the 80 and the 52, significantly far behind. And here's the Cadillac teammates of Demetale and Rada, making up the rest of the top 10. None of the rookies are really up front at the moment. We have Opsal who's in last, Ross who's in second to last, and then we have Cottle and Brown who are in the back. Mine is running at mid-pack as well. This is not a rookie-friendly track, that's for sure. Oh, we have a crash. Oh, yep, it's right here. The two rookies, Co the two rookies, Cottle and Brown, get into contact. And it's Brown who spins up because of it. Yep. The 88 is the 88 and 40 is able to save it, but that's going to kill the 88's tires. And Cottle almost spins out because of it. Both the 88 and 40 are going to have some very bad tire wear. Stay behind Morrison Jr. for now, and you can see that the cars are going as slow as 105 miles per hour. Back in lap one, they were going 130 through turns one and two, and Martin makes the pass on Morrison Jr. The two winners, the two players, the two drivers who are locked into the playoffs are top two. I guess they're proving why they're locked in. Approaching lap 12 here, we're going to see pit stops pretty soon. At around lap 14, 15. And Morrissey Jr. loses his spot to Salter and could lose his spot to Hopkins here as well. Pit stops right now. Let's see if Martin can beat LGD here. Who will be the first to come out of pit row in round one? 
Now remember, there actually are some drivers that pit on the other side as well, but we haven't seen any of them yet. Martin is getting this, is removed. Salter seems to be almost done as well. Martin is the first out of the pit, but LTT beats him out of it. Salter in third, Morrissey Jr. in fourth, Johnson in fifth. It looks like Morrissey Jr. is going to pass Salter on the exit. And Martin could be LTTL here as well. Not quite. The next round of pit stops are in. Who's going to be the first coming out of here? We have some coming out from round one. Cottle comes in. Although most of these drivers are in the backstretch pitting. It looks like everybody is done with pit stops now. The 88 is probably fixing some damage. Here comes Stevenson and Baker making up the rest. Opso and Ross are out. Oh, there's contact between the 53 and the 12 of Lamarty. Yeah, it looks like Lamarty was coming into pin. The 53 of Huckleberry doesn't realize it, and that causes it to collide. It shouldn't be too significant damage for the both of them since Lamarty was coming in anyway. But Hulk Brown and these cars are getting very aggressive. Unless Morrison Jr. comes back, it's going to be the battle of the two drivers that have already won a race. How much do these two cars want those bonus points? Martin is looking to move out to the inside. Does he got it? It was a contact! And the somebody's been the 88! Oh, goodness me! LTT is not going to like that! Oh, my! That's Darlington for ya. Let's get her proof. Let's get a cam from Martin. She completely takes out the eight. Inten I don't think that was intentional, but LTD is not gonna like that regardless. Let's see the view from Dustin Morrison Jr. The seven and eight completely. The eight gets taken out of the race because of it. Now it's up to Salter and Morrison Jr. to catch up to Martin. Morrison Jr. is looking for a pass here. Is he going to pull it off? The Morrison Jr. and Salter almost make contact. Oh, and Salter sends it coming into turn three. I think both of these drivers want to catch up to Martin now. But here comes Johnson and Rada making a statement too, wanting to make up the rest of the top five. Looks like the top five is already determined. And Guy is in as well, and that could be impactful with lap traffic that Martin has already passed. The gap is now two and a half seconds. Martin has this in the bag. Salter is very slow coming out of turn two, and now he's met up with Johnson. Morrison Jr. switches, swooshes past Stevenson. There are a lot of drivers who DQ'd, some retired, some four laps down. Two to go. The gap is 2.92 seconds. Morrison Jr. way too far behind now. Martin just has to cruise it, going as slow as 100 miles per hour in the middle of turn two. Baker is stalled in the middle of the field. They could not get his damage repaired on time. A very chaotic race for some of these drivers indeed, but it's going to be one lap to go here at Darlington. Martin is four turns away from getting two straight wins. The gap is still three seconds. Morrison Jr. should comfortably get second as well. But we have a pretty good battle for third here. The 99 and the 34 have caught up as well, but the goal is all going to be about Levante Martin. After a very controversial move from taking out LDD, we know he's not a nice driver, but all he's done is reinforce it. Levante Martin will get two wins in a row and get 20 bonus points going into the playoffs. Morrison Jr. in second, Salter in third, Rada in fourth, Johnson in fifth. 